Okay, how did we go from this to this? So I like to use Twitter on a daily basis. And when I'm not looking at the man-made horrors beyond my comprehension, some 14-year-old's bad take, or the abundance of groomers getting exposed day by day, there's a lot to keep me entertained. You trying to have sex with me? And nothing keeps me more entertained than some good old internet drama. <laughs> Our story starts with Cult of the Lamb, a game made by Massive Monster and published by Devolver Digital, where the goal of the game is to operate a cult. And Duolingo, the application that teaches you a new language in a bite-sized format, and is also known for making very ominous threats. So, Lamb initially challenges Duo to the Creator Clash. You know that event where YouTubers actually fight IRL instead of behind a large Twitter following? But right before things take off, Red the Bird from Angry Birds, and I do hope you know who that is, quotes Lamb with a challenge. From gamer to gamer, I will fight you. Mad emoji. With what appears to be every Facebook boomer selfie taking at a bad angle. So, uh, off to a good start, Red. Lamb, not knowing where this random rack of hostility comes from, replies, Bruh, this bird be angry. Red, obviously mocking the game's art style, says, I just want to talk. But Lamb is having none of this and says, Seems like all you want to do is talk, sh With a nice depiction of Red holding a large turd. Now, it's at this point when things are getting heated and Red decides to bring the beef. Literally. And says, Careful, I was sacrificing pigs before anyone knew who you were. Lamb chops next. Also, if we can just step back and get real for a moment, I just gotta say I think it's really funny thinking about the effort this social media manager put into pulling out a pan, oiling it, shaping the beef into a patty, because if you look closely, that's not a cheap frozen patty, and then using Red's wing to flip the patty. It's just wild to think how a good 10 minutes of real world effort went into this 5 second gif. So you may wonder, how could Lamb possibly top this? Well, they did, and in the most brutal way possible. Tomatoes go great with that hamburger. Showing off the Rotten Tomato score for the freaking Angry Birds movie. That's like if I tried to own somebody on Twitter, but they pulled out my YouTube analytics showing that a majority of you watching aren't subscribed. Oh wait, that's actually pretty good. Thanks guys. It's at this point that Cult of the Lamb has Angry Birds in a chokehold, and the social media manager running it is probably sweating bullets right now. Knowing that if he loses an argument to an indie game, he could probably kiss his job goodbye. So, how does Red respond? With probably the weakest comeback I've ever seen. Oh, uh, brother, this guy stinks! It's honestly a pretty pathetic response. Even fans of Red in the replies are disappointed. I think Nut Quesadilla's reply perfectly encapsulates how hard they dropped the ball in this one. You could have flaunted the score of your second movie made fun of the fact they don't have any movies to begin with, showed how much it made in the box office, but you chose to show weakness. Shameful, Red. Shameful. And you know what? I gotta agree with that. So, knowing how bad that tweet was, Red makes another, and more successful, attempt at trying to own the lamb with probably the most gut punch response I've ever seen. Do y'all need a parachute or are you good? Bro pulled out the stats from Steam and basically said, your game's dead. Lamb replies with a humorous but not as hard-hitting response saying, I made a portal to 2010, so you can finally be happy again. I mean, if we're gonna be honest, gaming was a lot simpler back then, and apps were a lot less cash-grabby too. Not to mention, memes were kinda at their peak around the 2010 to 2012 era. And now that I think about it, you know, this is less of a roast and more of a sad realization of how things were kind of better back then. Cult of the Lamb, knowing they took mortal damage, decides to go for one last ditch attempt by taking Red down with them, with the aid of Deadly Muse 76 artwork. Enough! The Lamb grows tired of these games. This could be us, but you play it. The crowd goes wild. The replies confused. The fanboys shocked. The brands are being brands. After this response, the Angry Birds Twitter goes silent for like three days. Honestly, I think bro is dead. I don't think I'd be able to be able to recover from something like that. But in classic internet fashion, Red comes back with a wholesome tweet of him playing their game. Yeah, I'm playing. Playing your game.
I honestly don't know what I was expecting from this, you know, maybe a good old fashioned KYS or a good old, you know, just doxing, but I, I forgot this is 2023, this isn't 2012, um, yeah. I hope you fall off that f swing and snap your f neck and never recover and live your life as a best of So, what did we learn today? Brand accounts are not your friends and only exist to stay in the public mind so they can sell you more products. Stop worshipping them and remember the only good brand account is the Norm of the North one. Okay, hello, Tay in post here. So, right before I was about to finish this video, it turns out that Angry Birds is being delisted again by their parent company. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like Cult of the Lamb got the last laugh. So, oof. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay foxy.